have two questions. Uh, my first question is, there is a place that is foreclosed, and um, HUD has the property, and uh, the people have had the locks changed. Uh, what kind of punishment can they be for being on HUD property? That's my first question. My, my second question is, uh, there, there is this child that has been uh, bullying my kids, and I have talked with the parents, and they don't seem to believe anything that, that their child does is right. And I have talked with the parents. I have talked with uh, the principal and everybody. And I need to know what is my next step. Thank you. Okay, Byron, you want to take a shot at it? Okay, um, uh, your first question, if I understand it, um, a, a HUD property, a, a HUD property has been unlawfully detained. Um, as, as far as, as criminal action, um, Bob, is well, I was thinking maybe a trespass after warning. You know, okay. the, 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 isn't the one that's got the legal right to it? I think they are, they're the ones that can tell you to get off. Right. And I didn't fully understand who that was. Maybe it's HUD, but. If you're trespassing on somebody's property and they ask you to leave, we have a crime. Let's trespass after warning. Right, and, and, and after you trespass that first time um, and you come back and, and trespass on their property again, then you can be arrested mm -hmm. and will be arrested. Sure. And what about the <clears throat> bullying question? That's a good one because you, you see a lot of that now. Right. Now, as far as bullying, um, it, it sounds like it's something like a simple assault. Simple assault, um, assault third would be a, um, a class A misdemeanor. And, and there, there, there's ramifications and there's um, punishment for that. Um, I, I don't know exactly the, the age of the, the child or what they're talking about, but right. there's, there's juvenile courts, and I've, I've seen that where, where juveniles come through the court system for, for attacking another child. So that, that's something that she can take well, up. And, and it sounds like she's taken the correct steps. I mean, she went to the parents, and then you went to the uh, school authorities. I, I would say go the, to the uh, police next. Yes, sir, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, now, with bullying, because we have heard so much about that lately, uh, especially with computers and mm -hmm. online uh, mm -hmm. harassment, does it have to be a physical act against a child from the alleged bully, or what about some of these other things like cyberbullying right. or exactly. same things that maybe are not true? Exactly. It does not have to be a physical touching. You want right. To yes. I mean, it, it, it can be a threat <laughs> or a. Um, or, or the, the child's apprehension of fear, if their child feels like they are in fear, I, I would definitely um, notify the police and, um, and possibly issue out a warrant after talking to the magistrate. Yeah, and I'm thinking <clears throat> of some other maybe related crimes. Hiram, what, what do you think about harassment? You know, um, harassment. harassment might be a possibility. In other words, once you get to the police, they can probably stop it, so with a warrant. <laughs> Okay, and yeah. if it's something that happened at school, you could still go to the police, Absolutely. correct? Absolutely, yes. Oh, yeah. 